everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing this Pathos Laser Roller Carbon 100 Spear Gun. So essentially it's a, um, it's a Pathos Open Pro that's a carbon barrel instead with the Cuttlefish um, Edition from Pathos. So that's pretty much what it is. But it's a really nice spear gun. Um, at this price point, it's kind of the mid-up upper tier. Um, but it's a really nice weight. This the I think the highlight of this is not only the roller system, but um, that you get on the snipers and the open pro that you could get on an open pro roller. Uh, but it leverages the uh, carbon uh, barrel all the way through. So it's really nice, lightweight system. And uh, let's yeah, let's start from the trigger. Uh, the trigger mech here, um, all stainless steel components, which is what you would expect at this price point. Really nice trigger. I've always loved the release, really light, and the finger travel is super short. So um, I would say it's like a medium hot trigger generally, but um, it comes with a nice handle. You can swap this out for one of their molded ones that is more fitted to your right hand. I have an example right here on my 85 sniper, but check that out. Right there. So right here is mine. This is the molded um, grip that you can add as well or buy it with. So check that out right there. And moving up to the actual trigger and release system. Um, this is one of Pathos's newer um, trigger mechs. So it comes with a side release. Normally it would come with a pin release like again mine right here you can see on the top on with the green it's the old version with a pin that drops one shot versus the new which is a side release which is more traditional with most spear gun manufacturers um, but you can see that right there so moving on of course you have your shaft shaft going through what i really enjoy about these pathos uh, shafts are that of course you have the traditional shark fins back here um, kind of a intermediate and then a load assist shark fin right in the center and this will come into play when we're loading the roller with these with this cuttlefish pretensioners one two and three but uh, we'll get back to that in a second uh, next I want to highlight is well first this one doesn't have a reel but if it did you'd mount it right about there but I want to focus right here on this cuttlefish design you can see how it kind of protrudes from the side profile or from the top profile and then tapers back into the barrel, the carbon barrel. So this cuttlefish is used functionally for um, hydrodynamics, uh, especially when you're tracking side to side like this. This side profile helps cut through the water from side to side. To be honest, I don't see a huge difference from a pipe gun in terms of tracking, at least in date, like um, real life application but um, they say it works that way, so I'll take it for what it's worth. Um, but more importantly, in my opinion, are these pretensioners. So one, two, and three. Um, so these are used, that gives this gun a ton of versatility um, in terms of power and how much or how little you wanna do. So we'll go over that in a second on how you do that. But next up, we have, of course, our carbon barrel, which is very nice. And kind of the highlight of the gun, in my opinion, um, this makes this gun extremely light compared to a gun like this, which is a Pathos Sniper, um, yeah, Pathos Sniper Roller. So same mechanism on top, but the barrel is not carbon. And even though this has a reel, it's significantly heavier. Alrighty, let's check out the weight for the spear gun. I have my little scale here, check that out. Zeroed out. What I'm going to do is put it on the mono right here. I'll lift up. Let's sit. And again, this is with no reel. So keep that in mind. But just with this current setup, it's weighing in at 3.84 pounds. So really nice light setup, especially for a gun this size. For comparison's sake, let's weigh this sniper of mine. So this is an 85, so a shorter gun. It does not have a carbon fiber barrel, um, but it does have a reel as well. So keep that in mind. 
but I already could tell this is significantly heavier, not just from the weight of the additional weight of a reel, but I can feel the mass kind of distributed across the spear gun. I know that's hard to, say, to describe on camera, but that's what I'm feeling. Zero it out. Hold this up. This is my personal spear gun. Um, I've used this for quite a long time. Let's take a look. So 4.4 pounds. So a significant increase for a gun that is 85 centimeters versus 100. So that gets you a rough idea on how the spear gun feels. And again, it's not just, it is lighter, but the weight is more, uh, it really feels like the front because of the rubber. Uh, the whole gun itself is really light versus my sniper there. It just feels like the whole thing is heavy. I know that's really interesting to say, but that's how it feels. So moving on to the, the muzzle right there, we have our Pathos roller system. Um, pretty much they use this system for any of their roller guns. Um, what's interesting is with their rollers, they actually don't use any bearings at all. Um, it's apparently it hydroplanes on the roller system on how it's built. So when you're in the water, it's a little more smooth. In my personal opinion, I think the Pathos roller systems are a little stiff compared to the competition or um, apparent, uh, compared to other spear guns. Like for example, um, this guy right here, it's kind of the more traditional roller look. Um, this one does have bearings and I can feel a humongous difference when I'm loading that versus something like this. I know there are different lengths and different types of spear gun, but um, I definitely feel a difference. So. Back to the roller system here. Uh, we have, of course, the rollers. This is, uh, we have some uh, guides up here to help line up the shaft when you're loading. This is not an enclosed track, but it does have a slight, um, kind of like concave. So it does sit the shaft nicely on top. It's pretty tough to see at the moment, but it sits the shaft right in that little canyon but it is not a enclosed track. What an enclosed track is, is something like the sniper, where it'd be kind of tough to see, but the sniper, there's a definite ridge, and without you loading the spear gun or clicking it into the trigger mech, it'll actually stay in place, versus this, it'll float around. Um, benefits are, for an open track, if you were to shoot something and it bent the shaft slightly, you could still use this, versus an enclosed track. Um, once it's bent, it's you're pretty much done for the day unless you have another shaft. Um, but back to the trigger mech, or the, the muzzle, um, it does have this little shelf here. Uh, the shelf is used to hide the flopper, so it's more streamlined, the flopper is not dangling around. So you can see that right there. Very cool. I love that feature of this. Um, and then of course you have the line guides on left, flanking left and right. On this side, it's on this setup, it's currently set up on the right, but you, if you want it to the mono to go left, you can do so, and you still have that guide on the left side. All right, so for loading the spear gun, um, what you first do is put the rubber for the main roller onto the mid assist right there. You actually flip the entire spear gun over. I like to put it on my hip. I'm gonna reach up. Not gonna load it in here, but you reach up, pull, then you're gonna go all the way to the first pretension right here, and then flip it over, or you can keep going here. Then you flip it over, like to do from the chest at this point, grab the spear or the spear rubber, and then pull it to your desired shark fin. And that's how it pretty much works. Um, when you're storing this gun, uh, if you have a system like this already, what you want to do is store it like this. I know it looks a little messy, but you do not want to store it with any pretension on it, right? Like this, though it looks, I mean, this is how it's supposed to look when it's loaded or something similar to this. But um, having this extra tension on your rubber while it's just sitting around in your closet or wherever you store it, um, it's just not, it's, you're just uh, eating away at the, the, the lifespan of the rubber. So. Um, 
Last thing is that the rubber, the main band for the roller is a 16 mil and the kicker right here is 14 mil. Um, and yeah, so this is the Pathos Laser Roller Carbon. This one's 100, but they come in all sizes. Um, a really, really nice spear gun, super versatile. Um, I would say it's a light blue water gun. Um, me personally, I haven't taken this out for any sort of blue water hunting by any means, but from what I hear from other fishermen, this is a great um, shore diving, but also a great um, blue, light blue water gun. So you have the capabilities of going, having a ton of capable power, but also if you just want to do some hole hunting by any means, um, you could just use the kicker versus the roller and you could just shoot with that as well. But there's a ton of versatility here. Um, but yeah, it's just a great size. If you're shore diving, in my opinion, this is kind of the top end and the length that you should be getting, unless you're going out again for some pelagics usually. If you're kind of going, if you want a gun that's good for some reef fish, but also the occasional pelagic, I think this is a great choice. I would go for anywhere from an 85 to 100. The reason why I say 85 um, is because this roller system actually helps amplify the length of this spear gun. So really, even though this is 100, you're really shooting about, what, a 110 up to a 120, 115. So you get that extra power of an extra length gun because of this roller system. So this is the spear gun. Let me know what you think. If you have one for yourself, please leave a comment below on what your experience has been. Um, but I personally love these spear, spear guns. Um, I personally would say the roller system is great, but after trying out some other systems um, that are just so much smoother, perhaps just even an open, a more traditional muzzle is still good. But still a solid, solid piece. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful. Um, and yeah, I will see you on the next one.